This is tutorial number 42, and it covers how to use the pocket feature within Katia V5. To start off, open up tutorial part number 42, which is located on the DVD. Now, the pocket feature is exactly the opposite of the pad feature. So with the pad, we're extruding and creating uh, a part. With the pocket, we are cutting and taking away from a part. So what I've done is I've created a few uh, parts here that we're going to create a pad, a, uh, a pocket, and extrude out from. So let's click this face here, and let's click sketch, and let's zoom in, and let's draw a square. So let's draw a square, and let's dimension it to 50 by 50. And let's center it, so let's make it 25 from one edge, and 25 from the other. So now that we have our sketch, let's go out. And you can find the pocket feature right here on the toolbar, or if you go to Insert, Sketch Base Features, Pocket. So let's click Pocket. And what you need for a pocket is a closed profile. Uh, so that sketch that we just made, you can either select it here or select it through the tree. Now, you have the option again in here. So you can use dimensions uh, up to next, up to last, up to plane, up to surface. We're just going to use the dimensions in this tutorial. So right now we have it set to 100. And you get a preview uh, of it. And it shows that it's going to go all the way through. So now let's click OK. And we've cut a pocket through the square all the way through. Now let's go into that pocket and let's edit some of these dimensions. So from the product tree here, you can either right click uh, pocket object, go to definition or the parameters. But what we're going to do is just uh, double click on pocket and it automatically brings up the pocket definition. So from here, you're able to actually change these uh, dimensions of the size. But what we're going to do is we're going to change the, exactly how far in it goes. So let's change this to 50. Click OK. And now it's only gone 50 millimeters into the block. Now let's put this back to 100. So let's double click on it and make it 100. Click OK. And let's click on the top surface here, click Sketch, and just uh, sketch a circle in the middle, just a little circle, and we're going to make it go all the way through and cut through that pocket too. So let's go back to the workbench, click Pocket, and we'll click that guy there, and it's going to go all the way through. So let's click OK, and you can see that we have the pocket going through the top and through the bottom. Now let's click this inside surface here and click sketch. And again, draw a circle, a little one somewhere in the middle. Now let's get out of it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the pocket. And instead of just going in one direction, we're going to go in both. So let's click pocket, click the sketch. And as you can see, it's only going in one direction right now. Like the uh, pad feature, you're able to reverse the direction. Uh, sorry, reverse the direction. And what we're going to do in this one is we're also going to mirror it. So we're going to mirror a cut all the way through. So now this allows us to, from the one sketch, cut both ways. So let's click OK. And now we've cut both ways all the way through. Now let's click this uh, cylinder here, the top surface. Let's click Sketch. Now click the outside profile and click uh, project 3D element and now click circle and let's put one right in the middle so once you get uh, the hard uh, circle with like the solid circle in the middle you know you're in the center of this circle so let's pull it out and let's dimension this to 50 and then let's just delete the outside circle here now we'll exit the workbench, click Pocket, and now we've got selected 
our pocket here. Now let's click thick. And now what this is going to do, just like the other one, uh, the other tutorial uh, with the pad using the thick, if you zoom in, you can see that as you increase the thickness, so does the thickness increase of the cut. In the other case, it was the pad. In this case, it's going to be the cut. So we've increased uh, the thickness, and let's put it to 10. Click OK. And now we've cut out with a thickness of 10. Now let's do one more on this face here. Click Sketch. And just click a profile and draw a unique little profile on this surface. And again, use your uh, sketch analysis just to make sure that everything's closed. Everything's closed, so you're good. We'll get out. And let's use the pocket. So now if we click more, you're going to have uh, options to go with a second limit for the dimension and say you can go 100 in the other direction too. Click preview. So again, this is just like the uh, mirrored extent, except that you have the ability to say only go 50 here and 100 that way. So that's just like another tool there. Let's click OK. And you can see the cutout that we just made onto that block. So with the pocket feature, it works just like the pad feature, except you're taking away rather than adding. And so to use this feature, what you need is a profile that's a closed profile within a sketch. And that concludes our tutorial on the pocket feature within Katia V5.